Welcome back. Well, it's early spring and things are melting out and I'm looking for um, buds from the uh, poplar family to make some uh, salve and uh, it's like medicinal, uh, medicinal salve. So take a look behind me. So here we have a balsam poplar. It's a beautiful tree here just along the water. That's where we're going to find a lot of the poplar family kind of wet feet. If you take a look in here, these are the buds. Right now they're sticky and resinous, especially if you kind of pop one of them open. It's super sticky and that's the medicinal aspects that we want of it. So what I'm going to do now is just pick some buds. Depending on your area, the best time to pick um, you know, members of the poplar family for their buds would be somewhere between December and March. March is perfect for here. I just have a little bag, you can have a glass jar or something. The buds are super sticky. Uh, it's going to make a mess if you put it in anything. So something that you want to, um, you know, it's not super important to you to put it in there. I'm only going to pick what I need and uh, it's probably best to pick from branches that are falling to the ground if you can find them. You can see my hands are already getting sticky uh, from the resin here. You can remove it easily with alcohol, but uh, just beware. Take a look over here. Here's some pussy willow. Little catkins are out. It's gorgeous. It's one of my favorite shrubs. Ah, so wonderful. This is going crazy. Oh, Hi, we're all done. It's getting bored. All right. Got a few buds here for the salve. So I'm gonna head back now and make the salve. Um, why would you want poplar bud salve in your you know, herbal cabinet? Well, basically it is really good for pain and inflammation. So the resinous buds of the poplar family contain salicin. And you guys may know uh, salicyclic acid as aspirin. It's so your liver converts the uh, salicin to salicyclic acid. And uh, so it's wonderful for uh, aches and pains uh, to rub on sore joints. Uh, some people will also rub it on the chest if you have a uh, really bad uh, respiratory infection, for example. So lots of good uses for it. Um, the buds, you know, if you kind of bite into them, you, they're sticky with the resin. You could kind of taste that aspirin kind of taste to them. Kind of like if you're also to munch on uh, a little uh, branch of a willow. And willow, uh, if you have like a sore mouth or whatever, you can kind of like chew on one of the branches and it kind of like numbs inside of your mouth a little bit pretty cool. So I'm back here at home in the kitchen and I've got my instant pot set up. I'm going to use it as a double boiler. Uh, what I have here are my buds. So on today's quick foraging adventure, I got about a quarter cup. It takes forever to get these buds. It's kind of like picking blueberries. Uh, and then I have a clean jar. What you want to do is mix one part of the buds uh, with three parts of uh, a really light oil. So I'm going to be using sunflower oil. I'll just put those in there. And this process is going to extract the medicinal components uh, from the, the buds here. We're basically going to get the resin to go into the oil. The resin is a sticky part of the stuff on top of the, uh, the buds there. I have my sunflower oil here. This is some organic sunflower oil. I'm going to just measure out three quarters of a cup. You can also do this in a more traditional double boiler as well. That's fine. Um, but what we want to do is keep this over the gentle heat there for two to four days. You can also do it a little bit quicker over a period of several hours if you'd like, but the longer the better to extract the resin. So let's let this do its work. All right, so things are going along nicely. I just put a little bit of a rack in there to kind of elevate it a little bit above uh, or just near the top of the water. I mean, really, you should have it kind of just the steam hitting the bottom of the jar, but this works well. Um, I should show you a bit more about the setting. Uh, I actually put it on saute uh, once I got it in there and more. So this will stay on um, and just kind of create, you can either like elevate it above the water, have the steam hit it or just slightly touching the water. You just don't want to burn the oil or anything like that. Just stir it a little bit. Uh, you can see the oil is getting darker and that's the resin coming off of the, uh, the buds there. So this is working really, really well. So periodically, don't forget to check the water levels in the Instant Pot or in your double boiler. Uh, you don't want them to, you know, get down to no water in there. That's going to be a big problem. So just keep an eye on it while you're uh, extracting the resin from the buds. All right, so we're ready. What we're going to do next is filter the buds from the uh, the infused oil. Okay, so be really careful. This is hot. We're going to just do that. I'm just going to push this a little bit just to get everything in there. And then we're going to put it back in our water bath. Okay, so back in the water bath we go. And now we're going to add some uh, beeswax. So um, for every cup of oil that you have, you probably want to add about two tablespoons of um, beeswax. So I've got a big bar of it here. It's got fresh the other day. My other one's all done. Um, so just kind of uh, shred it up a little bit, grate it so it uh, dissolves easily into your oil. So we're going to do that. You can see that there. So that's going to 
become integrated into our infused oil. You might get add some essential oils at this point in time, but I'm not. I'm just going to uh, just add the plain beeswax in there. I'm going to give this a little stir and it's almost all melted. So when you're almost ready, I just got a few tins ready to pour uh, in my salve. So I've got some Altoids tins uh, washed out. Also, I got these other little tins on Amazon from before. So I've got a few laid out and we'll get started. There's the oil with the wax. It smells amazing and it looks awesome. I'm just going to carefully pour it into my containers here. Ooh. Probably just get a couple out of this batch. There we go. Perfect. Now, what we'll do is just let this sit and solidify. All right, so what I'm going to do now, because we're getting close to dry, I'm just going to put a couple little uh, little buds in there just for decoration. Um, I think they're really cute, so we're going to just do that. And then it helps you recognize my salve as well. <laughs> Quite a few of these with different medicinal salves, so when you see the little buds in there, I'll know exactly what I'm dealing with. There we go. Perfect. Love it. We're going to give this a try. Let's see. It's all. Ooh, that's nice. Got a little wound there. I'm going to put some stuff on it. Very good. You can see that. Wonderful. Now, my advice to you is if you are allergic to aspirin, uh, please don't use this. It definitely will cause uh, problems for you. Thanks so much for tuning in today, guys, to learn how to make uh, poplar bud salve. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great week. Take care.